Actors Reporter, I'm at Comic-Con. Hey, hey Actors I'm Reporter, I'm here, here at Comic-Con. Hey, Actors Reporter, we're here at Comic-Con with all the rest of the mortals. Hi, Actors Reporter, I'm at Comic-Con. Comic-Con! Hi, Actors Reporter, I'm at Comic-Con, the best show on Earth. Hi, I'm Christy Phillips with the Actors Reporter here at the San Diego Comic-Con 2012. You know, the only two movies so far this year to make over a billion dollars were both based off comic books. That would be The Avengers and The Amazing Spider-Man. Let's go see what these comics all have to do. Why don't you tell me why you are so popular, Spider-Man? Uh, well, some people say I'm amazing. Any plans for Comic-Con here? Just a little web crawling? Just a little bit. Mayfly is a new app for the iPad. It's a comic app. And uh, what we're doing is digital first, so all of the material is uh, conceived for the iPad. So it's got movement and sound and interactivity. This is a title called Mono, and uh, we have a number of titles rolling out every week, and they're all, they're all in the app. Well, what's not to do here today? I mean, there's just so much going on. There's so many people. I, I can't even begin. But I'm actually going to go visit my Batmobile just parked outside. Sure, and I'm here just enjoying the scenery here at Comic-Con 2012. Barnabas Collins and I, myself and my love, Josette Deprez, are here checking it out, getting a feel for the place. I must say, things in the 1700s were never quite this insane, but reminds me of Liverpool on a Saturday. Well, one thing I have going, which I'm really proud of doing it, I worked with Ray Bradbury on probably the last um, printed thing that uh, he was able to uh, have uh, before he passed away. Uh, it's a short uh, treatment uh, for a story that uh, I did the illustrations for called the Nefertiti Tut Express. And uh, I was just so touched that uh, I was able to hear from him a couple of weeks before he passed away, that he enjoyed it that much. Yeah, my work uh, is all about uh, growing up in America, nostalgia, uh, counterculture, you know, lots of colors, cartoons, uh, you know, fun stuff, you know, it's all about making people smile. I'm C.A. Cupid from the web series Monster High. And uh, I'm Catwoman from Batman Returns. I'm Alice, the Madness Returns. And I'm the Mad Hatter. I'm Evil Knievel, of course. I just jumped Hall H. Uh, I'm Power Girl. Ugly dolls are actually collectible, artist-created plush stuffed toys, but they're actually more than toys now. We made them into books, we made them into t-shirts, we've got action figures, iPhone cases, a whole bunch wow. of products. Yeah, so it's a whole world now we call the Uglyverse. And I did a comic book called Rascals in Paradise, and everybody liked the girls, so I ended up drawing pretty girls, and that's what you see here. Found several of them here at Comic-Con. One was a, a girl named Lisa Marie Scott, was a playmate in 19... 96, and she, she's probably, I've used her probably more than anybody else. Beautiful girls are everywhere. We're Halo Spartans. Some people keep stalking us and following <laughs> us around. Prima Madala. Oh my goodness, how did you pick this costume? Is it um, your favorite superhero? Yeah. Is that who you're going to be when you grow up? Yeah. I'm Boba Fett, the intergalactic booty hunter. I'm just here working today, looking for some booty. The thing is that there was a strong force here in San Diego right now is what kind of drew us here. And of course you can see by him holding you in his arms that we came to the right place. I'm an artist and animator. I work on uh, TV shows such as Batman Brave and the Bold, as well as doing the comic book. I also do Samurai Jack and Star Wars Clone Wars. And wow. Powerpuff Girls, I've worked on everything and, and pretty much anything that has to do with TV animation. I also uh, have a couple books here with Image Comics, one being Charlton Ball with uh, writer Joe Casey, as well as Doc Bazaar MD, which is about a supernatural doctor that makes house calls to monsters. You know, it's uh, amazing with superhero movies so popular. There's no superhero TV series at the moment, but there's about to be one in the fall. I've seen the first episode of one called The Arrow, uh, which is kind of like Batman with a bow and arrow, if you can imagine oh. such a thing, and it was really quite good. We were just a bunch of nerds in college, and we started off doing animation, and then we thought, well, that's too hard, so we'll start trying to draw comics instead, and people like them. We all write and draw a uh, strip. There's four of us total that write and draw the strips. We do them pretty much autonomously. Uh, each individual does their own 
different change of style to the same basic uh, character design that we have. Bring our own sort of flavor to the table, I guess. That's a good metaphor, right? Yeah. Well, you know, we're doing kind of what you're doing. We got to get all the interviews. We just got an awesome interview with Tony. You know him from, uh, well, actually, Call of Duty, and uh, he's in the next uh, Transformers. So, you know, we're, we're excited to see what's going to happen here, you know? Well, no, we're no danger. Uh, these plant eaters are easier to tame. Uh, no, it's just a, this is a steampunk uh, interpretation. Uh, after the centaur worked out so well last year, it says, how do I top that? And it says, huh, let's go with steampunk, but with a dinosaur. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm here in War Machine from Iron Man 2. Made it myself. I'm the Monarch from Venture Brothers. Dr. Girlfriend. Sergeant Hatred. I'm the Plug Guy. <laughs> plug Guy is a fan favorite. Everybody loves Plug Guy. Let's have a round of applause for Plug Guy. What's up, Actors Reporter? I'm Nomad from Die Bomber, and I'm a Comic-Con! We are having a wonderful time here at San Diego Comic-Con. I am Christy Phillips with the Actors Reporter, and stay tuned for part two.